Oh my God. I want to start this video off a little bit differently. Last couple of days, I haven't really been feeling it, right? We all get those days where I can't think of anything. And I'm not sitting here crying about it. It happens to me all the time. I'm sure it happens to you guys all the time. But I kind of noticed I've gotten a lot better at getting out of those ruts. I always say that like your creative mind is like a muscle, right? You got to work it sometimes. There are times when you got to force yourself to finish some beats or finish a song, right? So you can work your creative brain and think of different ideas under stress like a muscle. And then there's also times when you need to relax, right? Let that muscle rest, let your brain rest so you can come back fresh for the next time that you have to push it. So that's how I look at creativity. Some people look at it as just like random spur of the moment things. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like it's all about my preparation and how I prepare my creative brain in order to be creative in that certain time. But that's just my thought. If you're like struggling with big picture stuff, you're like, should I even really be doing this? Should I really even be making music, stuff like that? This helps me every single time. Cause I definitely have those days of doubt. You're like, man, am I even doing the right thing right now? Like, why am I doing this? I'm not getting anywhere. I always think of where I came from, right? So how far have I made it from then until now? And then from now until where I wanna be, right? So you take those two reference points, right? The very beginning, you just started, you weren't doing anything right. So now you're here, you're doing this right, you got this going for you, and then where you wanna be, all those other things that you wanna be doing, have things going for you, stuff like that. So those are my tips. I don't know, we'll start this video off a little different. I'm gonna be making a beat today. Like I said, haven't really been feeling it. No clue what I wanna make today. I think I wanna make it epic, something crazy. I wanna make something big. I don't know. So I'm gonna use these big synths. Today, I'm gonna to be using this plugin called the Reason Rack plugin. Reason Studios is our sponsor for today's video. I just wanna find like a big synth to get our melody going. I kind of like that melody. All right, there might be something there that we can use. Yeah, I think that's fire. Okay, let's stick with that. This has a lot of potential. Let's keep bringing in some more like epic sounding things, I guess. All right, I love this sound. Okay, I really want this synth to be huge. So let's put some reverb on it. Yeah, this is gonna be gas, okay. I'm thinking something like. So what's cool about this plugin, I can just go here, show programmer, and I want the attack to be down a little bit. So we brought up the attack a little bit, so now you can see it doesn't hit as hard like right up front, it kind of like builds into it. And that's what I want. Okay, so let's keep going with this synth now. I mean, good God, this is, this is just epic. The definition of an epic beat. Oh my God. Honestly, just like these epic sounds, like. Sometimes I think you gotta use a, a sound that's a little bit odd, right? A little bit weird, um, but I love this sound. Like I said, they all came from that Reason Rack plugin. Reason Studios is a sponsor of today's video. I'll leave a link to that if you guys wanna check that out. But yeah, I think this sound, I mean, these things are just nuts. They're so big. Listen to the other melody in the background. It just sounds so fire. Epic. 
Okay, so we have this epic melody. We need to have epic drums. To be completely honest, I think Travis Scott is doing himself a disservice if he doesn't get on this beat, but you know, it's whatever. This is kind of his vibe, that epic, you know, like rock star vibe, I guess. So let's keep going with some drums. Oh, I love this so much. All right, I changed the hi-hats to a different sound. All right, so that hi-hat is just gonna keep the groove, and then with this one, we're gonna come in and do like some other things. And I like these low hi-hats, so I'm gonna make like some cool rolls with this. Nice little groove there to go with our already dope melody. So a little tip, this is a beat where your melody is so epic, it's so big, but you do not want it to drown out the drums. So I gotta keep reminding myself to turn down this melody a little bit so our drums don't get overtaken. Fire. I love laying down kicks. They're just like my favorite thing ever. All right, so I put a little crash in there to kind of set the drop off. Dude, you know it's fire, like you know it's a good beat when you can literally hear like what the flow might be or like you're thinking of flows of like what artists would be on it in your head. Like I think as a producer, it's good to understand that. Um, Cause then you can kind of get a feel for like what the whole song might sound like, but this is <laughs> Alright, I want to do like a dope transition into that. We could even for like a halfway point, we could have something like this. just completely take out the lead that's something i like to do in the middle of like my verses is take some elements out we could take like the hi-hats out i mean at this point someone just called travis scott i don't have his number if someone does just call him